For doctors, it's a stethoscope. For sculptors, a chisel. For artists, their favorite brush. Every trade has its tool. And whether you are a techie, a gamer, a sysadmin, or a programmer, the tool of choice for us is a keyboard. For us, a keyboard is more than just an input device. It's a tactile connection between human and machine, something you spend typically more than eight hours a day interacting with. So, just like a professional golfer might spend $600 on a single golf club, it's not out of this world to imagine a techie spending $300 on a keyboard. Today, I'm going to talk about my keyboard, the Ergodox. I'm going to give it my one-year review and show you why the Ergodox, despite being expensive, is probably the best keyboard you can buy. The Ergodox doesn't just refer to a keyboard, but rather a project to create an ergonomic, open-source keyboard. Originally inspired by the Key64 keyboard project, the Ergodox was developed by Dominic Beauchamp, inspired by the Key64 keyboard. The printed circuit board was designed by Frederick Atmer. The project takes the form of a guide which shows you how to build your own 76 or 80 key layout. Available on Ergodox.io, the guide lays out the parts you need, where to source them, a complete soldering guide, CAD files for the 3D printed enclosures, and tutorials on installing and configuring firmware on your board. Obviously, building your own keyboard from scratch takes time and skill. Some skills which I don't have, like soldering. Luckily, several pre-built boards are available, which you can buy and then customize to your heart's content, including the famous Ergodox EZ. The Ergodox EZ is a commercial version of the Ergodox, manufactured by Erez Zuckerman, Dmitry Slepov and Yara Lancet. Using their website, you can order your very own pre-assembled Ergodox, whilst still giving you tons of customization options. You can customize the case color, which is available in white, or black. You can choose your style of keycaps, including printed keycaps, which are LED compatible, no keycaps at all, normal printed keycaps, or black sculpted keycaps. Of course, being a mechanical keyboard, you also get to choose the mechanical switch. You can choose from several different colors of cherry and Kalich switches. You can also choose between the Shine variant or the Glow variant. The Glow variant features fully addressable RGB backlit keys, as shown here, or you can choose the Shine variant, which contains an LED strip on the back, which is as well fully addressable. Accessories you can add include a tilt kit to angle both halves of the keyboard as you wish, and a set of wing rests to act as palm rests. A fully spec'd out configuration costs $354 before shipping. They do have free shipping, but that's not in every country. $354 for a keyboard? Yes, but oh, is it worth it. This is my Ergodox, which I've had for around 16 months now. The reason I went with this keyboard is due to the ergonomic nature of the board. I have long suffered from repetitive strain injury due to being at a keyboard for most hours of the day, every day. So I wanted something ergonomic that would alleviate my symptoms. And I'm happy to say this has really made a difference. So much so that switching to another keyboard for more than a couple of hours feels very uncomfortable and causes pain. The configuration I have here is with this black case and Cherry MX Brown key switches, which you can see there. These feature a tactile feel whilst being quiet enough to use in an office environment. I'm more of a blue key switch kind of guy, but the last time I used those at the office, everyone threatened to fire me. By the way, this keycap puller is included with the Ergodox and also couples as a key switch puller. So I can remove the key with this side and then I can switch it over and remove the switch with that side. 
I opted for the glow version of the keyboard, which has fully addressable, customizable RGB colors behind the main keys, although some of the keys don't have RGB lighting. But again, these are the custom keys. I also have the wing rests, which I find really comfortable, and unlike many other wrist rests, are not a dust magnet and are really easy to clean. I also opted for this tilt kit here, which places three legs on each half of the keyboard, allowing you to lay your keyboard flat, slightly elevated as I have here, or even arched downwards, depending on the type of RSI you normally have problems with. Now, obviously, the feel and sound of your keyboard will depend on your key switch, but here's what mine sounds like. Now, being a customizable, open-source keyboard means you don't have to get everything from Ergodox EZ. These orange keys, for example, are from Pimp My Keyboard, who offer a wide range of printed keycaps in high-quality plastic. I used this website to order these keys here, which represent symbols used on macOS for common functions such as Command, Option, Page Up, Page Down, and so on as well as this panic key, which also doubles as an escape key. Some of the other keys here are even more custom, which I ordered from WSAD keys. With WSAD, you can upload your own images, which are then printed onto the keycaps. I've used this to create these copy and paste keys, and these two keys to screenshot a window or an area of my desktop, respectively. These two keys here switch between layers, and this is the Oryx key, which I'll explain in a moment. The cable is custom too. I got this braided cable from Pexen PCs, where you can build a fully customized cable with various material choices and custom connectors. Now, the thing about the Ergodox keyboard is that you can configure it to do whatever you want. So, for example, here I have my normal typing keys, which I've currently configured with the QWERTY layout. Um, uh, I also have my control and shift keys here on the left, and I have a copy on the right. I have configured these two keys to be page up and page down, respectively, and these two keys to be end and home, respectively. But again, you can choose any layout you want. In fact, you can create keys which you normally wouldn't find on a keyboard. For example, I can press Shift End to select this line, and then press Copy to copy this text, and Enter, Enter, and then press this to paste. That means I don't need to take my, my hands off the keyboard for copy and paste, and I don't have to stay doing Control C and Control V. Another thing I do a lot, for example, is take a screenshot. And so, for example, if I press this button, this brings up the screenshot panel in Mac OS X, where I can take a screenshot of a window. And pressing this button allows me to select an area of my screen to screenshot. The nice thing about the Ergodox is that you can also configure layers. So I have this button here, which switches the keyboard to layer one. You'll notice the colors on the keys change. And again, these are fully customizable and I have an indicator light up here that shows me that I'm on the first layer. In this layer, for example, I have configured the S key to type the Euro symbol, which I use quite often. And I have some other keys, for example, these keys on this side of the keyboard here now act as if they were a number plaid, including the plus, minus, and so on. Now, in layer two, uh, I've configured some media keys, for example, 9 increases system volume and 8 decreases it, whilst 0 mutes my system. I have also configured these keys here uh, to act as mouse control keys, which you can see here, meaning I can use the mouse without actually leaving my hand off the keyboard, although in practice I don't do this that often. Now, besides switching to a layer, you can also momentarily toggle a layer. For example, if I press this key here, whilst the key is pressed, the keyboard is in layer one mode. I can then press S to put in my Euro symbol, let go, and I go back to the standard mode. And these are just a few of the things you can configure on the Ergodox keyboard.
quality, customizable hardware is obviously a strength of the Ergodox, but the softwares don't slouch either. Ergodox EZ really does make configuring your Ergodox easy and fun using the Oryx Configurator. This is a graphical web-based tool which allows you to configure each key as you wish. For example, here I have a representation of my Ergodox keyboard and as you can see, I have my first layer. You can add other layers and there's a ridiculous number of layers. You can add something like 16 or even more or whatever. Uh, so as you can see here on the main layout, I obviously have my QWERTY layout and I have the numbers here up top. So again, you can click on any of these keys and choose what key that actually sends and you can actually assign modifiers for each key. So for example here, I can click on the D key and I can specify which key I want this key to actually send to my system. I can even choose the what it does with the colors, okay? So I can have keys to uh, change colors of RGB, change the hue, brightness, animation, and so on. I can assign a macro, which does <laughs> pretty much anything that I want. And there's even this tap dance feature, which can define different functions for tapping, holding, double tapping, and tapping and holding a key. So you can really have many layers per key within each original layer. You can customize the background RGB color of each key by clicking on it and then choosing one of these predefined colors or you can use the color picker to pick a color from an existing key or you can even click on a swatch here to choose other colors. You can even have a color for an entire layer. Now as you can, as you can see there are multiple uh, layers in this configuration so if I switch to layer 1 here you'll note that I've added some commonly used symbols. So for example, this key here, which is normally the S, uh, I've set to type right shift and two, uh, which on my Mac types the Euro symbol. I also have keys to increase and decrease the RGB brightness, change layer color, toggle animations, switch the lighting on and off, and so on. By the way, to actually get to this layer, uh, I can either click on this key here, which I've assigned as a layer toggle to go to layer one, or I can press and hold this key here, which is a momentary toggle. Uh, so whilst I'm holding down this key, I get to that layer. Uh, you can also note these keys here, which I've set this key here uh, as a macro, which presses left shift, um, left control and five. Uh, which activates the window screenshot mode and this key here, left shift, left control and four, which activates uh, snipping on, at least on Mac OS. In layer two, uh, I have some media controls. You'll notice I have keys for increasing, decreasing and muting the volume. Uh, and I also have keys for moving my mouse as well as the left and right click. I also have these keys here. Uh, which skip to the previous and next tracks and I have an additional set of cursor keys configured on this side of the keyboard. So once you have made your changes, you can click compile this layout and simply send a file to your keyboard. So uh, Ergodox offer another utility called Wally. -E. So basically this just connects to your keyboard. You can drop your firmware file in here and that will automatically uh, flash the new layout to your keyboard. The nice thing about this is that if you move your keyboard to another computer, you don't have to do anything because the firmware contains the layout stored on the keyboard itself. Now, if you get an Ergodox keyboard, prepare for people calling you crazy for spending so much money on an input device not to mention the time and effort it takes to configure it just how you like it. What I typically say is that people are very happy to spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a pair of designer shoes, which are neither more good looking or better built or have more features than your typical $80 pair of shoes. The Ergodox may cost more than your typical keyboard, but it also has better build quality and much more customizability, not to mention it's ergonomic and better for RSI prevention. 
If you're interested in getting an Ergodox, check out the description below for a discount code on... Uh, no, no, there, there's no discount code. My channel is still too small for anyone to bother giving me discount codes. In fact, I'm not getting sponsored for this video, I'm just reviewing the Ergodox that I myself bought and customized a year ago. Now, that being said, I might get there someday, so why not like and subscribe? It truly does help the channel grow and keep me motivated. I hope you enjoyed this dive into a geeky keyboard. And for more geeky content, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you in the next one. And until then, thanks for watching.